Okay, train with me 15. That's the first time in 15 videos I made the first shot. So I'm getting better, right? Well, now I'm, now I'm hustling you guys because I'm shooting them a little bit back to back. So I'm not cold on that shot. But here it is, 50-80 training. We did this one. It might have been the first train with me I did. I'm rebooting this because this is how I train. And I want to show you guys how I train. And I want you guys to, tr to try this out and see if it fits your training style, your brain, all those things. And there's more reasons than just hitting shots that I do this 50-80. And I'll try to just remember all of them and, and spam them at you guys as we're doing it. But basically, I start with... 10 balls, and it's very important that you go one through 10 and in order. And people say, oh, it's OCD. And it's like, no, 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 it's, we're gathering information, okay? So this shot here, I'm gonna keep, I would keep hitting it in training, right? And then I would mark the balls, okay? I don't wanna run through all 10 because it's just, it's just, I don't think it's beneficial. I'm just trying to think of time frame. Um, let me hit a few, I'll hit a few and we'll, we'll go from there, okay? I don't know if I, I mean, I don't want to rat, rattle off 10, but let me hit a few and see if I can miss them because I want to show you what happens when I miss. Ooh, perfect. I missed it. Awesome. Okay, so I overcut that. So I got one through 10. I put the two over on this rail because I overcut to this side. I jump to the three. I come over here, rushing along, keep this thing going. Okay, do it again, see what happens. Oh man, that was worse. Okay, so now I have some information. I've overcut two. Notice I'm not freaked out. I'm not upset. I'm gathering my information. I'm getting my data. My data's right there in front of me. I made the one, yay me. I missed the next two. How did I miss them? I missed them thin. Okay, I gotta thicken this up, gotta thicken it up. I gotta hit the ball, I gotta hit more of the four ball. Okay, sweet. Not because I made it, but because if you look, the four ball hit right here when it went in, okay? Four ball went right here and went in. It's cool that I made it because I'm, what I'm trying to do with the 50-80, I'm trying to hit 80% on these shots, and I'm hitting 50 of them. I'm going to hit five sets of 10. I'm going to try to get 80%, okay? Forgot that part at the beginning, but now you know. And I'm collecting data with those 10 shots, and that four ball tells me, hey, I made it. It also told me I hit a little thick. Now let's just pretend that I make another one. Whoa, I'm in stroke. Look at this. I'm playing so good right now. I got two balls left. This is why we mark the balls. I mean, we put them in order. This is why I shoot the 9-10 last. I'm sitting at 80%, okay? You get to see my pressure live. Now I have some fun pressure. I'm at 80%. I gotta make both these to stay at 80%. I know that so far my data shows me I overcut. I don't have any undercuts on the rail, okay? At this point, like we're just fast forwarding, like this is a normal, like this would be a training session example. So I come down and I'm like, okay, whew, visualize, I'm in a tournament, I'm on the nine ball, I wanna make it, it's important. I go through my whole pre-shot routine, I come down, I have awareness of what's going on. It's a little 20% window in my brain. 80% is just the process and trying to knock it straight and knock it in but there's a little bit of pressure, safe pressure. I'm gonna to try to hit it. Oh, and I wet fanned it. Okay, the pressure got to me. Here we go. There's my data. That data tells me under pressure, needing to get both these balls to get to 80%, I fanned it again. Okay, I'm seeing a pattern, I'm seeing some information. Notice, I'm not upset. I'm not banging my cue, I'm not blaming my equipment. I'm just noticing and I'm getting data. And I'm like, all right, this one's touching that rail when it goes in on the 10, because I've fanned, fanned three of them. Now I want to get to 70%, because you know what's just, it's almost as good as 80? 70. So we're gonna go for 70. Okay, same pressure, same thing. 10 ball tournament. I'm in my tent, wherever they host those. Virginia, I think, was the last one I played. Okay, I'm in my turn ball tournament. I'm gonna make this one. I'm not gonna hit it. I mean, I'm gonna stay positive, but I don't wanna hit it thin. I wanna send it right. There it is. And then when you make it, you go like this, because <laughs> that's part of training. You gotta celebrate your victories, even when you're training. Okay, so that's 50, 80. And the, ga the information we gathered was, okay, started out good. 
Fan the next two. Got super hot, made them all, going to nine. Got to the nine ball, choked, potentially on the nine, because I knew where I was at. I needed to make both of them. But then, the ten's in, it's gone. So what is it? Rose from the ashes like a phoenix on my last shot, boom, made it. So that's the data I get. And so all the time when I'm training this, I'm gonna tell you what it normally looks like with people when I'm training them and myself, okay? Okay, so here we are. I got two left. I'm at 70% if I make these two. All my misses, 100% are overcuts. So after the seven, I started paying attention and thickening up the shot, hitting more of the ball. So I've had, after the six. So I've had a couple good results. And so now we'll see if I can make these two and stay at 70. Jonathan put the pressure on me. I need, I need that smoke, Jonathan, thank you. Okay, sweet. Palms are sweaty, mom's spaghetti, we got one more. Cause I like 70, like I said, 70 is almost as good as 80. 70 is not 60. So let's try, let's see if we can do it. 10 ball, I get into my space. I'm back in Virginia playing the 10 ball tournament. I'm, leave me this shot, gotta make this for the win. Hill, hill, all those. 20s and 30s of dollars are on the line. Oh, <laughs> that's fine. Okay, good. So I'm glad I missed it because I'm not glad I missed it, but I did, <laughs> no problem. So anyways, it's cool because this is what I wanna show you guys. This is a normal way that this, this, this situation ends for people. There's, I'm telling you, it's just, it's, it's, I see it a lot. It's 75% to one side. It very rarely looks like this. Okay, a lot of times it looks like this. And it's a small sample size, it's only 10 balls, but we see, you know, we see that my, uh, we get the data. We see that I have a tendency to overcut, and we see that I kind of gagged at the end, which is fine. And I gagged because I tried to cut a little thick, which is fine too. But uh, nothing to be upset about, 60%, that's totally fine. The reason why I want you guys, and the reason why I want to be in the, uh, 80% range, 70% range. When I do these videos, I'm actually in the 60 to 80% range because I just wanna be having my learning mind on. If I do this and I'm at 40 and I'm at 50 and I'm at 30, I'm monkey tilted. It's no good for me, right? I want my learning mind on. I wanna be feeling good, okay? And so I don't wanna shoot like this shot and be 80% on that. I'm shooting, this is a very difficult shot I'm shooting. It's more difficult than it looks. <laughs> so, but, if it was too difficult, okay, I got 60 on it. Let's say that I opened up, okay? Let's say that was my first set of training that day. I got this dot here for a reason. And I want you guys to learn this. We progress up with the same cut line, okay? And then we learn the shot from closer. Just like the other shots, we learn the shot from closer. So if I start here like I did and I was at 60, I'm probably gonna go here to find my angle because I did find out that I overcut it. So I wanna to try to tighten that up. I wanna to try to improve it. I wanna to try to build my confidence. And so I wanna to try to get to 80%. So one way to do it is to get closer and to make the shot a little easier, right? Huh. That's the theory behind it, but you get it. That's fine. Now I'm hitting thick. Okay, so that's the idea though. Move the ball closer, make the shot easier, find the angle, okay. You know what happens? I just miss that shot. I'll come up a little closer. Let's do that. Because who cares? It's not about ego. It's not about anything. It's about learning the cut angle. Who cares about the result? We have to have our learning mind on. We have to hit the shot. So I come a little closer. Oh, that's a little easier to see. Maybe I'll try that one. Maybe I'll get closer on this one. Oh, look at that. I made it. Sweet. And now I learn. Okay. I learn from there. I learn from here. I learn from here. Then when I'm back here, I learn from here. And so, if I start here, I might do 10 from here. And if I still was in 60% range or 50% range, I'd move up a little closer, you know? So that's it. We wanna be able to ladder up closer, 
ladder back farther to challenge ourselves. We always wanna to try to be in that 60 to 80% success range. It's okay to go into the 40s or 50s, we just don't wanna live there because when you live there, like landmine drills, I see people doing landmine drills. Those are, the success rate on those are zero practically. And so I see people doing landmine drills and I also see them getting frustrated and banging their cues and getting upset, okay? When you're training and you're learning shots and you're learning all these things, you, if you are not frustrated, you will learn so much faster. Okay, I have this conversation a lot with people and the deal is, this is the secret, when you're not frustrated, your learning mind is on, your critical mind is off. You will learn so much faster. And I'm training people that are older, okay? And I'm older and I have kids and wife in this place. And I just don't have endless time to burn doing the wrong things and being in having my mind shut down and learn at a slower rate. Okay, so there's people that I train and they're very close friends with me. And I tell them, you need to stop criticizing yourself. If you could just be less critical on yourself and less frustrated, let's call it frustration, you you will learn so much faster, you know, so much faster. Okay, so I'm telling you, I know this from experience, as a guy that's had some really bad frustration and anger problems in my past, I've fixed, I've, I've gotten out of it, okay? And there's a whole series of conversations that I have online about the mental game, but I'm saying with this training, it's all built on the meta strategy of not being frustrated and learning. And that's super powerful. And your game goes so much faster. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you straight up, I have not been frustrated playing pool for like two years or three years. And I, that's on purpose, okay? And I don't play as much as I used to, hours, and I'm playing very good right now. And so I'm trying to bring this out to you guys and say, we don't need to be frustrated. It's shutting off our learning mind. It's putting our critical mind on. It makes us, it hurts us here in our heart. And we don't want that. We want to be joyful. So we want to learn and we want to be joyful because when we learn and we're joyful, we're better humans. And that's important too. I'm a better human today than I was yesterday and the day before, that's a big part of why I'm doing this whole thing, okay? So that's my hippie thing, but it's, I want to share it with you guys. It's important to me, okay? And I know that if you follow my content, you'll understand that. So that's it. We're gonna learn. We're gonna have our learning mind on, our critical mind off. We're gonna mark the balls, 50 shots, 10 at a time. We're gonna check our data, okay? Are we overcutting? Are we undercutting? Are we missing? Do we need to move it closer? Can we move it farther away? Can we challenge ourselves? This is how I train. This is a very, very, very powerful way to train. And uh, I'm sharing with you guys because I love you and I want you to get better and I want you to have your learning mind on and feel joy training. So that's it. See you on the next one.